Hey guys! I have one more video that I want to share with you from my ridiculous cross-country road trip and that was as I was coming back into California I came through the northern part of California which is called Lake Country and I had never been there before but there's some really amazing little towns all through that area. One of the really cool little places I went to was called Clear Lake and I did end up passing by this antique shop that just never seemed to be open. So finally, one day I went to the door, I found a phone number and I called it, and this antique shop belongs to a guy named Vince. And so I'm like, hey, you have a lot of really cool stuff. I would love to see what you have. So I am gonna take you guys along for the ride and show you all of this amazing stuff that Vince has collected over the years. And I feel like what I did learn from this situation though, and not just this situation, but probably multiple other situations in my life, is it doesn't matter how many times we tell our kids like, hey, if anybody ever offers you candy or a puppy, as an adult, I'm still doing stupid things that I would tell my children not to do. I don't have children, but if I did, this is the kind of stuff I tell them not to do. If some, stranger in a van was like, hey, I have some antiques in my van. Do you want to see them? I'd be like, yes, take me to the van. Lock the doors behind me. I have an unhealthy relationship with antiques. So anyways, I finally get to Vince's store and his house is sort of like on the same lot. And But he doesn't take me to the store right away, right? So within like seconds of meeting him, he's like, come into my house. And I'm like, Okay, there's stuff everywhere. And the first thing that I see is this insane ship lantern that he has. You know how much these things go for? Um, it depends. They they go for a lot more if they have like the, a burner and stuff in them. Somebody's gonna have to completely rewire it though, because obviously. How about 300 bucks? Yeah, that'd be more than what I could sell it for. But thank Two, you. 250? That's okay. That's okay. How about 500? Deal. <laughs> Oh, I can already tell he's gonna really give me a hard time with negotiating, but then he's like, come into my home, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we go in, and it's just like, luckily Vince it was amazing, but like, I, I sometimes I just question my judgment. Just met this person, and he's like, come up this darkly lit stairway. Okay, you mean past this giant dead cheetah? Oh my gosh, look at the cheetah. It's real. Wow. These are real. Those two statues. Amazing. Africa. Those are real people from the uh, colonial era. I mean, the cheetah was cool though, right? Like, you would have gone up the stairs too. This is very old. Oh my gosh, I love this Vegas light. Yes. You want to see it on? Yeah, that's so cool. So we got up the stairs and I'm like, everything is amazing up here too. Like everything this guy has is something. It's collectible. It's stuff that he's accumulated over the course of his life. And it's amazing. Everything has a story. Everything has a story. I have a couple of moving lamps out there from the 50s and they break all the time. You know, mm. I got to fix them constantly. Yeah, yeah. These two. Mm-hmm. Thousand years old. Really? Wow, those are amazing. Cracked and aging, and they're not aging right because they're not oiled. Yeah. You know, you gotta oil wood. I don't know, though. I kind of love how they look cracking and aging. It's gonna age, you know? It's a, ma it's a school of thought. Some people say preserve it. Some people say no. I say preserve it. Yeah. But I haven't done it yet because I've got a couple of people that made an offer already. Mm -hmm. oh he offered goodness. me $3,000 for both of them. Good gracious, take it. Take it and run. Well, I don't get thousand year old pieces very often. In San Francisco, they would be several thousand each. Yeah. And I, hmm. uh, I still, I'm kind of attached to them, you know? They're very cool. I don't blame you. Wow, these trains are so cool. He just wants to show me this stuff. Like nothing in his house is even for sale. So I'm just like, if this is the stuff that you have in your house, I'm very excited to actually see the store and the stuff that I'm gonna have access to. I probably won't be able to afford anything, but I would like to just see it. And thankfully he's super cool. He just loves to share all of this amazing stuff that he's so passionate about. 
So we get into the store and you guys, it's just like crazy. Like this guy knows everything about everything. Like he's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. He's got tribal art and Asian art and clocks and weapons and rugs and glass. Like you name it, he has got some kind of knowledge about these categories and it shows because this store was jam packed with everything you could imagine, you guys. Look at all of these clocks. Look at all of this cloisonne. And I did find this little box, which I actually don't think $45 is a terrible price for this. Um, the detailing on this is really great and it's definitely an older piece. So I'll see if he'll go down a little bit on it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna get my hopes up. <laughs> I'll give you a $40, that's it. This should be 125 bucks. Oh gosh. You know it. Oh gosh. It's way underpriced. Well, I will we'll see. Right? Um, Take my word for it. I mean... I specialize in Chinese and Oriental. And this you, is you specialize in everything. Yeah, but look at it. <laughs> this is all inset. Mm -hmm. There's my closing A cabinet. I know, that's where I found it. And I knew he wouldn't give me a better price on that box. It was a good price for that, but like, come on, come on. Don't buy this. Because <laughs> you want to sell it. If you don't buy that, I'm going to mark it up to at least 90. All right, put it in my pile. And then I'll. Take my word for it. I'm going to age this for you, too. What do you mean you're going to age it? Yeah, these colors. Uh huh. This is Qing Dynasty, which means pre 1910, 1911, mm -hmm. 1915. Okay. But the butterflies and everything, wow, that is really good work. Fine. I'll buy it. <laughs> So one of the things that he does have that I see that I'm absolutely obsessed with is this old drum. So I go down under this cabinet and he's got a bunch of tribal art, a lot of like wood carvings. And there's one thing that I recognize right away. It's a Papua New Guinea drum and I pull it out. I notice that it's really pretty inexpensive already, but I do want to see if I can get a better price on it because it is going to be expensive for me to ship this. Um, but we'll see what he does. He did end up giving me a better price on that. And I'm going to show you guys a similar one here. This one is not the same one that I got from him. That one's already sold. But this one here is uh, similar from the same tribe, same area. This one, unfortunately, is missing. It should have a leather piece over the top. And so one end has a leather piece, and it has a handle here, and then you can hit it. And it actually makes a really good noise. The one that I got from Vince actually had snake skin. Now, could you imagine how big that snake must have been to have skin that would be wide enough to go over this? Like, that's a little bit disturbing that there's just snakes like that that you just can find and use their skin for utilitarian purposes. He had a lot of really cool glass stuff also. So he has this decanter, which I, I actually kind of like. The price on the bottom is already really high, like it's like a hundred and something dollars, but it's the original price. It's a little bit more modern and contemporary than some of their older stuff. And they did this art glass line called Waterford Evolution, and you can find like bowls and vases. This is the first decanter I've seen. I wanna see if I can get it. It's not super valuable though, that's the only thing, so I, I really can't pay that much for it. I'm kind of just getting it more because I really like it. He did end up taking 50 for it, which is still a little bit too much for it, but it, it's pretty cool, you guys. This is the top. It just sits there, like, nothing holds that in place, people. That just, like, you knocked that the wrong way, it's gone. But yeah, you guys, brand new. This has the original price tag for $150 on it, so that was, you know, pretty expensive for this, I feel like. I don't know. He was so nice, like I just felt like I could just ask him anything and so I just go there I'm like tell me what the most expensive thing you have in your entire store <laughs> So what is your favorite item in the store the most expensive? Probably the Buddha. The Buddha is the most expensive. My and see this is the same age these pieces here are museum mm -hmm. You see you have to go to the De Young Museum to find this stuff. Mm, yeah you know, I, I used to live in San Francisco, I'm in Indonesia and stuff. So what kind of stone is this? That's uh, rose quartz. Wow. That's jade. This is solid jade. And you said this is $35,000? Right. Wow. Of course, we're talking negotiable prices. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, not only did he have one of these things, it is a literally an entire statue. It's solid jade which is crazy, but then he has like solid stone elephants and I mean, really, really cool stuff. And yeah, I'm sure these things are incredibly, incredibly expensive. He knows what he's talking about. But uh, I definitely wanted to show those to you guys. 
And I had a great time. I ended up spending a good chunk of the day at Vince's shop, even though I only got a few things. I learned a ton. I saw some really cool things. And uh, I'm glad I got to share that with you guys. He was super happy to open up his space. And he was very proud of all of the stuff he had. Very glad I got to share that with you guys. I am super curious what the coolest thing was that you liked today. So leave me a comment in the comment section below of what your favorite thing was that you saw. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do it now so you don't miss future episodes. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.